Today we're finding the equation of a line called the altitude uh, in the triangle. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through four examples with you. Uh, you can freeze the video any time and uh, try the question yourself and then see if you come up with the same solution as I do. I've already created uh, videos for the equation of the perpendicular bisector and the equation of the median in a triangle. And uh, that will be important for you because often you are asked to find the point of intersection of an altitude and maybe a median or perpendicular bisector in your exam. So let's go ahead with this question here. What I'll do is I'll draw out the triangle first of all, and then what I'll do is I'll show you the process that will follow. Okay, so let's start by plotting down the points. So A is 2 minus 4, so 2 along, minus 4 down. So that will give me the point A there. So it's 2 minus 4. Uh, 3, 1 for B, so 3, 1. So that's giving me the point B. And I've got minus 5, 0, so minus 5 would be to here, minus 5, 0, and that's the point C. So that's C minus 5 and 0. So let's just draw that triangle up, just join the points up. And finally this one on to here. Okay, so in the question here we're trying to find the equation of the altitude from A uh, in the triangle here. And what the altitude is, is a line that would come from the point A and hit the line BC at right angles to it. So roughly what I'd be looking for is something like a line that would be coming over like that, and that would be meeting there at right angles. So I'll just, I'll just overdraw that line, and it can extend as well, so it would be this red line that's here and going all the way out to there. So, so that's the line that I'm really interested in finding the equation of. Okay, so that was it graphically. Let me show you what we're going to do uh, to, to try and solve this. Right, so for altitudes it's a three-step process and what we'll follow is we'll find the gradient of the line that is opposite the point the altitude comes from. So I'm going to look at the other side of the triangle and get the gradient of that line. I'm then going to flip and change that gradient to get the perpendicular gradient uh, since I know that uh, the two gradients multiplied together equal and minus one uh, would be perpendicular to each other, the lines. Then the third step I'm just going to substitute into the equation of a straight line the perpendicular gradient and the point that I've been given. Okay, so, so that's what I'm going to do for altitudes. So remember what I'd said that uh, Beyond, beyond that work there, you would then normally have to find the point of intersection. You would use simultaneous equations for that. I've got a video on that as well, so just look that up. It would be simultaneous equations by elimination, and that would allow you to solve a point of intersection of an altitude with a perpendicular bisector, with perhaps another altitude, or with a median within the triangle. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll solve these questions. I'll go for the first one reasonably slowly, and then what we'll do is I'll, I'll give you a chance to freeze the video and go forward with the others. Okay, so the triangle's plotted down. Okay, and I could make a quick sketch of that when I'm, when I'm doing this type of work. So I'm going to find, first of all, the equation of the line that's opposite A. So what we'll go for is we'll go for the gradient of BC. That'll be Y2 minus Y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, so what I'll choose here is I'll go for 1, take away 0, that's the y coordinates, and 3, take away minus 5. And if I gather that up together, that gives me 1 over 8. I'm then going to find the perpendicular gradient, okay, and that'll be the gradient of the line that I'm interested in, this red line that's here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that over, that'll be 8 over 1, and I'm going to change the sign to minus. So this here is really just a gradient of minus 8. Then all I'm going to do is for the third step, I'm going to substitute the gradient that I just worked out, and that was that perpendicular gradient. And I'll also put in the point that I've been given. So the point that uh, we're finding the altitude from is the point A. So I'm going to use the point A, and that's 2 minus 4. And we'll put that into the equation of a straight line y minus b equals m x minus a. Right, remember that's my a value there, my b value there, and m will be minus 8. So let's go ahead and do that. 
y minus, and that's minus 4, is equal to minus 8, and that's x minus the a value, which is 2. What I'll do is I'll just tidy this up first of all, just to get rid of that double, double negative that's there. And I'd be expecting to get my mark for the equation there. So you get three marks for this type of question, one for getting the initial gradient, one for getting the perpendicular gradient, one for getting the, the equation of the altitude. Right, normally we go forward and do some simultaneous equations with this. I'll just prepare this to, to show you how to get to a form where we would use the equation in simultaneous equations. Okay, so here we go. We'll go for just multiplying out the right-hand side. Okay, that's a multiplied. What we'll do is I'll take the x's first, the y's, and then on the other side of the equals, I'll just leave the numbers there. So let's go for... 8x, bringing that over, I've got a plus y that's sitting there already, this 4 going over to the other side becoming a minus 4, and that'll give me 12. And that's me all set up, ready to do simultaneous equations with uh, that one there. So what you can do now is you can you can freeze the video, and we'll go on to the, the second, second uh, question, and freeze the video and have a go yourself. Here's the solution. Right, I'll plot down the points. So the points, first of all, I'll go for Q is 2, 5. So here we go. There's Q, and that's 2, 5. I'll go then for E, which is 8, 8 along and 2 up. So that's going to be E that's there, 8 along and 2 up. And the final point I'm looking for is R, which is minus 4 and minus 2. So that would be the point R here. Minus 4, minus 2. I'll just uh, do that sketch. There we go, there's the triangle made up. And what we're looking for is the altitude from Q. So remember it's from Q, so what I'd be doing is I'd be putting my, uh, my pen on Q and I'd be trying to draw a line across to make sure that I find the altitude. And the altitude, remember, is going to be at right angles. So that's the, the line that I'm really looking for the equation of. Right then, so looking across from that uh, point where the altitude's coming from, I'm going to find the gradient of RE. So that'd be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, and we'll go for 2, take away minus 2, and 8, take away minus 4. So 2 plus 2 is going to give me 4. And 8 plus 4 is going to give me 12. Simplify that down to 1 over 3. I'll then find the perpendicular gradient, and that will be the gradient of this line here. So the perpendicular gradient is going to be equal to flipping that over, 3 over 1, and just changing the sign. And remember, that's just the same as minus 3. Right, substituting. Substitute the, the perpendicular gradient. And the point that we were given, which was the point Q, because that's where the altitude is coming from, and that's 2, 5, and that will be into the equation of a straight line. Y minus B equals M X minus A. Right, A value, B value, M. Okay, let's, let's substitute them in. And the M value, minus 3, X minus 2. Okay, so in there, that's where I'm going to get my mark. Mark for this, mark for this, mark for that one. Okay, preparing it for simultaneous equations, let's multiply out the, the right-hand side. y minus 5 is equal to minus 3x, and that's going to be plus 6. Get the x's onto the left-hand side. I'll then follow that by y. And what I have here is I'm going to take the minus 5 over to the other side, and what that will give me is 11, because the minus 5 going over will be a positive. Right, so that's that's that one complete there as well. Right, let's let's look at the third. And again, pause the video and go forward and try and solve that one. Right, here's the solution. What I'll do is I'll plot the points. So 6 minus 5, so 6 along, let's see it about here, minus 5. So that should give me a point there. That's going to be the point B. 6 minus 5. 
I'll plot the point E, which will be eta long and it's minus 1. So that'll be there, that's E, that's 8 minus 1. And the point F, which is 1 minus 3, so that should be there. So that's going to be the point F, and that was 1 minus 3. I'll just join it up and just uh, form the triangle first of all. There we go, there. And I know that the, uh, the altitude is coming from B, so I'll put my pencil on B, and I'm going to draw across to make a right angle at this side here. And I know that the line is a kind of line that goes all the way through there. So that's the equation of that line is the one that I'm going to try and find. Okay, so opposite the point where the altitude is coming from, I need to find out the, the gradient of that line. So what I'll go for is the gradient of Fe, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, Let's go for, I'll go for the minus 1 first of all. So I've got minus 1, subtracting minus 3. And I've got the 8, and I'm subtracting 1. I'm going to subtract 1 from that. What that should give me on the top, that will give me 2 all over 7. So it's 2 over 7 is going to be the, the gradient of that line. I'm then interested in the gradient of the perpendicular line. So my gradient of the perpendicular line is going to be equal to, just flip that over, 7 over 2, and change the sign to minus. Okay, that's since gradient 1 times gradient 2 is equal to negative 1. Okay, then we'll just do the substitution. So we're going to substitute the perpendicular gradient, minus 7 over 2, and the point that we were given, which is the point B, that's where the, the altitude's coming from, that's going to be 6 minus 5. Right, let's go for that. We're going to put that into the equation of a straight line, which is y minus b equals m x minus a. There's my a point, my b point, my m. m is minus 7 over 2, x minus 6. Let's just uh, tidy this up a bit here. Get rid of the double negative. Okay, and again, that's where I would expect to get my mark. Right, let's sort this one out. We've got a fraction that's sitting here, and what I'd like to do there is I'm going to just multiply the left-hand side by 2, okay, and that's going to get rid of the 2 from the bottom. So I'm really multiplying everything by 2, but uh, what we're going to end up with is 2y plus 10, what we'll have on this side, I'll have minus 7 times x, so that'll be minus 7x, and minus 7 times minus 6, that'll be a plus 42, that should get there. Bring the x's over to the left-hand side, so that'll be 7x plus 2y, and what I've got is I've got 42 there, bringing the 10 over to that side will make it uh, negative 10, or minus 10, and that should give me 32. That's going to be that prepared for simultaneous equations. Final one, right, let's have a look at this one here. Okay, we'll plot the points down first, just like we've been doing. So 2, 3 would be 2 along 3 up. So that's going to be the point x, okay? So that's x, and that's the point 2, 3. y is minus 2, 0, so minus 2, 0 is just right on there. Okay, so that's the point y, minus 2, 0. And the point z, which is minus 2, 4, so minus 2, 4 up to there, and that there is the point Z, and that's minus 2, 4. Let's draw that triangle up. Okay. Right then, so I'm going to be looking at uh, the altitude, find the equation of the altitude from X. So I'm going to get my pencil on X, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to be at right angles. So there's the one at right angles there. And I know it extends a bit further if I needed to. All the way here. And the right angle is there. Okay then, so let's find the gradient of the line opposite where the altitude's coming from. So that would be uh, ZY or YZ. So my gradient of YZ is going to be equal to... What we'll go for is y2 minus y1, all over x2 minus x1. 
And the points I'm going to use, let's start with, let's start with the zero and take away the four. Take away the four, and we'll start with minus two. Take away minus two. What that will give me is minus four on the top, and on the bottom, I've got minus two plus two, that will give me zero on the bottom. So what that tells me there is the gradient is undefined. Okay, so the line is uh, a, a vertical line, so the gradient there is undefined. Right, so what I can do then is I know that uh, from the being a gradient undefined, a gradient at right angles to that will have, so the perpendicular gradient to that will have a gradient equal to zero. Okay, so the, the red line that's here has a gradient of zero. So if I've got an undefined gradient, the gradient that's perpendicular is zero. Right, let's go ahead and substitute these values in. So I'll substitute the perpendicular gradient that I have here. And that gradient is equal to zero. And I'll substitute the point where the altitude is coming from. So it's going to be coming from x. So that's going to be x is going to be 2, 3. And let's see how this works out. I'm going to substitute it into the equation of a straight line. y minus b equals m x minus a. a value here, b value there, m is equal to 0. So let's substitute these in. So that's a 0, that's going to be an x, and that's going to be minus 2. Okay. So I would, would expect to get my uh, equation from here. But let's, let's multiply this out and see what we get. So I've got y minus 3 on this side, and 0 times whatever's here in the bracket will work out to be 0. So finally, what I could say is that my equation, that would be my final equation, or what I could say is that y is equal to 3. And that would be that one finished. So this one here is a bit, uh, uh, just a wee bit different from the others. Uh, just remember that if you've got an undefined gradient, the gradient that's uh, perpendicular to it is equal to 0. And it works out to be a, a line that's just going to be horizontal. Okay, and it's horizontal around about y equals Three. Okay. Right, so, so that's the, the altitude complete, um, the equation of the altitude, the equation of the perpendicular bisector, the equation of the median in a triangle, and these are the ones that you'll need to know at higher level to make sure that you can complete some of the questions that you're going to be uh, asked within your exam. So hopefully this, all of this uh, together, has helped you Ken Maths.